video, we're going to cover how to enable IonCube on your Synology NAS, as well as a few other things needed to install extension pack for vType. First, we need to enable SSH or terminal access on your Synology drive. So I'll go to menu and then control panel. Under connectivity, you'll see terminal. And all you have to do is just check the SSH service, uh, leave the port as is, and hit apply. Um, if you're not able to connect uh, to the drive using PuTTY or any other terminal tool, uh, try changing the um, advanced settings to low uh, because medium is the default. And in some cases, you might set to low in order to connect. Um, so once that is done, um, go ahead and log into the terminal. I have already done that. Um, and once you log in, you'll use your uh, username and password. And um, once you're in, I recommend you switch to the super user. To do so, you hit sudo minus. I, and then you put in your password. So once we're in logged in as the super user, what we'll do then is we'll download the iCube loader PHP extension. So what we'll need to do is go to a folder and we'll um, execute this command. So CD and this is the folder and all of those instructions are provided in the user guide. Uh, once we're there, we'll then go ahead and download the actual IonCube loader extension. And then again, that's just a single command, right click to paste. Uh, that seems to be done. Um, so that was simple. The next step is to actually enable the IonCube loader on PHP 7.3. And what we'll do is then we'll go to folder, which is volume one, app store, PHP 7.3, and then miscellaneous. Um, once we navigate to this folder, we're gonna make sure that we're in the right folder. I'll do ls-l, I'll see that uh, this file that we need to modify is there, so we're in the right place. And to modify this file, uh, you can simply execute a command. And I'll just do it right now. So it's echo, Zend extension equals iCube loader, and then it's getting pushed into the PHP FF INI. Once I hit enter, um, now the file has been modified, and you should only run this command once. If for a reason you run it twice, you'll have to um, edit this file and remove the duplicate entry from the very bottom. All right, so the uh, final step to enable IonCube loader is to restart the web server. And the command is um, sino pkg restart web station. It'll take a few seconds. And it looks like it's done. So what I'll do now is I'll switch to my local vTiger install. And I'll go to the extension pack and see if we have the iCube loader enabled. So yes, looks like that has been installed, which is what we need. So now there's a few other things that we need to do in order to proceed with the extension pack. First is uh, PHP SOAP. To enable PHP SOAP, what we'll have to do is log into uh, your Synology or just open it back up. And we'll go to the main menu, look for web station, and then we'll go to the script language settings and find the vtiger CRM 
package based profile you have to click on it you can double click as well um, and then hit edit the soap extension is under extensions tab and if you scroll all the way or halfway down you'll see it's right there you'll check it save it um, and that's all we need to do to enable the soap extension and now if I go back and refresh that's great um, and a few other things is to configure the recommended values for PHP um, so let's go back into the tribe and again we'll go to the web station script language settings select the same retiger serum package hit edit and go to the core tab now and that's where you'll find the values you need to update so the first one was let's take a look so we have default socket timeout if i type it in It's right there. I'll change it to 600. Next, what we need is um, so the other six entries, um, they all have a max in it. So I'll just type in max. And so I know the max execution time should be 600. Um, the input time should be 600. Input var should be 10,000 and 32. The post size should be 50 and the upload should be 50. And I'll hit save. And now if I go back to the extension pack and refresh, and looks like we're all at recommended values you may or may not want to change the memory limit the standard which is 500 is perfectly fine um, it really depends on how powerful your synology drive is so once you have all of these adjusted all you have to do is just hit install and you'll be able to proceed and install extensions as needed thank you